Hi students, good morning to all of you. Hope you all are doing well. Keep yourself healthy and fit and fine. So today we are going, we are here to learn a new concept in mathematics, a uh, concept on percentage which we use or uh, which we see or which we hear in our normal lifestyle at different places. So let us understand what is percentage and where it is more used mostly and how to get or solve some things and get its percentage. Now, most of you might have seen uh, this kind of images put out on the shops or even in the online websites. Now, what does this mean? There is a sale put up. Now, this sale is not a normal sale. They are giving you off. What is this off? OFF off, 70% off, 20% off and all. That means if the total cost is 100, suppose for a particular uh, thing, it is 100 and you get a discount in it. What do you get? A discount in it and this discount amount is named in the form of off like 70% off, 15% off, 20% off, 10% off and all. So these concepts like 70%, 15%, how do we get this? How to come up like total cost and from that this much uh, is off, then how much should we pay? These kinds of things, how to calculate it, we'll learn from the lesson percentage. Now let's take an example and understand what is this percentage, how to come up with it. One of your classmates has scored 85 marks out of 100 in her exam. How will you write it? We will normally say it as 85 marks out of 100, that is 85 upon 100. Another classmate is scoring 45 marks out of 100 in his exam. How do you write it? We write it as 45 out of 100. Normally we say to parents also, na, my friend scored 50 out of 100, you know, and I scored 80 out of 100, you know. That means in 100 marks of paper, in 100 units, you scored about 85 or 70, right? So these kinds of things we use in percentage that way. And at the end of the examination, after getting all your marks of all subjects, at end you get a grade and a percentage that is calculated. This percentage is taken by total marks you score and the total marks that is there for your papers, right? Now, in percentage, the denominator of the fraction, if you noted in the above statement, it's 100, right? So, a ratio where the denominator is 100 is called a percentage. Now, as I said, the person scored 85 upon 100. That means he scored, she scored 85% of marks in that paper. Now, another boy, he scored 45 out of 100. That means he got 45% marks out of 100 in his paper. Now, percentages are also written in the uh, symbol of slash and two dots on either sides of that slash. Okay. So, how to write it? 85 by 100 is written as 85% or we can write it in 85 P-E-R-C-E-N-T in verbal form. 45 by 100, it's written as 45 with symbol of person or 45 person in verbal. Then 70 by 100 is 70 person or 70 percent we write. Okay. So now what does this 85 person mean? 85 person means 85 parts of total 100. 45 person means 45 parts of total 100. 70 person means 70 parts of total 100. Now when you see this 85, 45 by 100, 70 by 100 and all, we can further reduce it. And this reduced part is called as a fraction. Okay. So 85 by 100 can be reduced as 17 by 20. 45 by 100 can be reduced as 9 by 20. 70 by 100 can be reduced as 7 by 20. 7 by sorry, 10. So these are the reduced fractions of the total marks out of 100. Now, in equivalent fractions, we multiply or divide the numerator, right? We have learned in fifth standard about equivalent fractions. We normally divide or multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. See an example, 4 by 5 is given and you're multiplying it with 3 on uh, numerator and denominator and you get an, an equivalent fraction as 12 by 15. Second one, 8 by 7 is given and its equivalent fraction is asked. You multiply it with any number like I did it with a 2, 8 twos are and 7 twos are. I got an equivalent fraction of 8 by 7 as 16 by 14. You can do it by any number, either divide or multiply it. And the answer you get in fraction is its equivalent fraction. 
Now to find a percentage also, we need 100 in the denominator. Using equivalent fractions, we multiply or divide the given fraction to get 100 as the denominator. Now, similar questions will be given to you in percentage also. And there, it's compulsory to get the denominator as 100. If you get the denominator as 100, only then you can write in the form of percentage. See the first one, 6 by 20. So, 6 by 20. I need the denominator as 100. So, 20 into 5 is 100. That means 5 times if I uh, have 20. And if I get the product of it, I get the answer as 100. So, if I multiply 5 in the denominator, I have to do in the numerator as well. So, 6 multiplied by 5 upon 20 multiplied by 5. We get the answer as 30 by 100. Now, 30 parts out of 100 means 30%. 40 by 50, 52 is 100. So, 42 is 80. So, 80%. Next, 30 by 300 is given. It's more than 100. So, here we need not multiply. Instead, we will divide it. So, 30 divided by 3 in the denominator, sorry, in the numerator and 300 divided by 3 in the denominator. We get as 10 by 100. That is 10 percent. Let us see a word problem. In a picnic, 50 percent of the children did not swim. Okay, 50 percent out of the total, 50 percent did not swim. If there were 80 children in the at the picnic, that means total children are 80. How many did not swim? We know that total children is 80 and out of total children, 50% did not swim. How to find it? 50% means 50 by 100. So, 50 by 100 into 80. When we multiply 50 by 50 and 80, we get 4000 by 100. When we divide it, we get the answer as 40. Therefore, 50% of 80 means 40 children. Therefore, 40 children did not swim. Now, another example. Kiran's farm produced 640 kilograms of wheat from this year's total harvest of 800 kilograms. Total harvest is 800 kilograms, but Kiran's farm only produced about 640 kilograms of wheat. What percentage of harvest was wheat? We need to find percentage here. Number is already provided. That means a student has scored these many marks out of this much is given. But we need to find the percentage of the student. So same way we have to do it here also. So let us assume that the wheat harvest in the Kiran's farm be X percent. You can add any other alphabet as well. But I have written X percent. I have taught you in the lesson equations. You will have such questions in the upcoming lessons where you, where you have to use the variables where number is not given. Such questions are here. Uh, here I have used x percent. Suppose x percent is the ratio of wheat harvest to total harvest. Okay. So x percent means x upon 100. X percent I said. What, before also I said if you have percent symbol that means it is upon 100. So x upon 100 equals to total wheat produced by Kiran that is 640 upon the total harvest to be there in the farm that is 800. Since I cannot divide 800 by x. What I will do? I will multiply 100 on either side. So, x by 100 into 100 equals to 640 by 800 into 100. So, 100, 100 gets cancelled. We get divided and 1 is left. Then, x equals to when I multiply 640 into 100 by 800, I get the answer as 80. So, x equals to 80. That is 80 percent of harvest on Kiran's farm was wheat. Now, here I have solved some questions from your textbook practice sets from here onwards. We will see each of the question in deep and how to get the answer either percentage or in the number form. First one, Shabana scored 736 marks out of 800 in her exams. Total marks is 800. Shabana scored 736. What is the percentage she scored? So let the percentage be X person. Therefore, X person means X by 100 equals to she scored 736 out of 800. So, we cannot divide 100 by X. So, we will multiply 100 on either side. So, X by 100 into 100 equals to 736 by 800 into 100. Then X is left on the left hand side. Right hand side, when I divide and multiply, I get the answer as 92. How I got it? See, I will say you an easy method. I can cancel 800 and 100. How? Cross cancellation is allowed in multiplication. I have taught you in the semester 1 a lesson on multiplication and division. Uh, and even in 5th standard we have learnt a lesson where we can cross cancel in multiplication. That is these two zeros in the denominator with 800 and with 100 two zeros can be cancelled. And what is left? 736 by 8. So that means 736 divided by 8 I get the answer directly as 92. 
Got it? So hence Sabana scored 92% of marks. Now, there are 500 students in the school. How many students are there? 500 school, five students in the school of Dahi Handa village. Now, from the 500, only 350 can swim. What percent of them can swim and what person cannot? That means here we have to find two, two percentages. The one who can swim and the one who cannot swim. So, let us find first who can swim because we have the number of who can swim. So, it is easy to find the percent also of who can swim. So, let us assume x percent of students can swim. Therefore, x upon 100, x percent means x by 100 equals to 350 out uh, by 500. Since I cannot divide 100 by x, I will multiply 100 on either side. So, x by 100 into 100 and 350 by 100, uh, sorry, 500 into 100. Here, I can cancel these two zeros I am showing you and what is left? 350 by 5. I'll divide 350 by 5, okay, and I'll get the answer as 70%. Got it? Understood? Now, that means 70% can swim and 30, uh, 100 minus 70, that's percent means it's 100. So, total is 100. Out of 100, we are getting 70, na? So, 100 minus 70 is 30. So, 30% 30 cannot swim. Got it, children? Now, let's go to the next one. If Prakash sowed jar on 75% of 19,500 square meter of land, how many square meter did he actually plant jar? Here we are given with percentage and total area of land and we need to find only that much square meter of land where actually jar was sowed. Not in the percentage form, percentage is already given here, we need to find the number. Okay, so let us assume that Prakash had sold jar on x square kilometer square meter of his land. That means x square meter of land, but total area of land we already have it as 19,500. So x upon 19,500 equals to 75%, that is 75 by 100. Now, can I divide 19,500 by x? No, I cannot. So I will multiply 19,500 on either side, so that is left hand side and right hand side. So I get in left hand side as x. And in right hand side, what will happen again, as I said you before, I will cancel these two zeros, cross cancellation, it is said, sorry, uh, that is these two zeros. And then what is left, 75 into 195, when I multiplied it, I got the answer as 14,625. That is Prakash Sojar on 14,625 square meter of his land. Soham received 40 messages on his birthday. Now, above, from these 40 messages, 90 were birthday greeting, like greeting cards and all. And they are asking us to find how many were other than greetings. Okay, 90% were greetings. So, 100 minus 90, 10% will be other than greetings. But what is the number of that 10%? We will find it. So, for that, first we will assume that Soham received X messages for his birthday greetings. That 90% we will find first. How many are birthday greetings in number? So, x is the number. x by 40 equals to 90 by 100. Since we cannot divide 40 by x, we will multiply 40 on either side. That is x by 40 into 40. 90 by 100 into 40. Now, how I will cancel here? This one 0 and this one 0 will get cancelled. And then this one 0 and this one 0 can get cancelled. Okay. Now, what is left? 9 and 4. That is 9 into 4. So, x equals to 36. Now, we know that X is birthday greetings. That means 36 birthday greetings were there. And how many total messages? 40 messages. So, 40 minus 36, that is 4 were besides greetings. Understood, children? Coming to the last question of the lesson. There was an election at two in two villages. Okay. In one village, that is Jambulga, there 1080 women had cast their vote. But the total number of women were 1,200. While in Vadgao, only 1,000, I mean 1,360 women cast their votes out of 1,700. Okay. Now, we have to find which village had more women, those who cast their votes. So, we will find the number of both. Now, let X person be the woman, uh, women from Jambulgao cast their votes. 
Now x by x percent means x by hundred equals to one thousand eighty by one thousand two hundred. Since we cannot divide hundred, I'll multiply it. So we get as x equals to one zero eight zero by twelve. That is x equals to ninety women. Sorry, ninety percent of women had cast their votes in Jambulka. Now in another case, that is in Vardgaon. Let y percent be the women from Vardgaon to cast their votes. And y by hundred equals to one thousand three hundred sixty by one thousand seven hundred. Since I cannot divide by hundred, I'll multiply by hundred on either side. I get as x equals to when I divide it, I get as one thousand three hundred sixty by seventeen. And when further I divide, I got the answer as x equals to eighty. In Jambalga, it is ninety percent of women those who had cast their votes, and in Vadgao, eighty percent of women cast their votes. Which is greater? Jambalga is greater because it is ninety percent out of hundred. Ninety percent women had cast their votes, so that is greater. So x is greater than y over here. What is x? X is Jambulga women, and y is Vardga women. So hence, the women from Jambulga village cast their greater proportion of votes than Vardga. Now here we end with our chapter percentage, easiest chapter, just some calculations of multiplication and division. The more you understand these concepts of multiplication and division in percentage with variables, it's very very easy for you to solve more more questions. Any doubts, children? Please come up with your doubts. I'll solve it as possible by me in DCS or in the comment box. Thank you once again for watching the video. Have a nice day.